Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. It is Monday night and we are gathering to celebrate daily Vespers um, and celebrate with all who celebrated namesdays today with uh, St. Andrew, the first call is remembered on November the 30th. So glad you have joined us. Please pray together with us. God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere and fill us all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, who covers yourself with light as with a garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds your chariot, who rides on the wings of the wind, who makes the winds your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth at its foundation so that it should never be shaken. You covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose. The valley sank down to the place which you appointed for them. You set a bound which they should not pass so that they might not again cover the earth. You made springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation. They sing among the branches. From your lofty abode you water the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for man to cultivate, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are refuge for the badgers. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works and wisdom. You have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships and Leviathan, which you formed to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food into season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looks on the earth, and it trembles, who touches the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. 
Bless the Lord, O my soul, praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed metropolitan Tikon, Lord, and tenants of the Diocese of New England, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you are to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. We offer you incense, O Christ the God, for us, we spread your prayer, receive upon your heavenly altar, and so down upon us, we turn the grace of the Holy Spirit. In the eighth toad, Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Hear me, O Lord, Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you. Hear me, O Lord, let my prayer arise in your sight as incense. And let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil to busy myself with wicked deeds in company with men who work iniquity. And let me not partake of their delights. Let a good man strike or rebuke me in kindness, but let the oil of the wicked never anoint my head, for my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. When they are given over to those who shall condemn them, then they shall learn that the word of the Lord is true. As a rock which one cleaves and shatters on the land, so shall their bones be strewn at the mouth of hell. But my eyes are toward you, O Lord God, and you I seek refuge. Leave me not defenseless. Keep me from the trap which they have laid for me and from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked together fall into their own nets while I escape. 
I cry with my voice to the Lord. With my voice I make supplication to the Lord. I pour out my complaint before him. I tell my trouble before him. When my spirit departs from you, you know my way. In the path where I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. I look to the right and watch, but there is none who takes notice of me. No refuge remains to me. No man cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord. I say, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Give heed to my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring my soul <clears throat> out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. The righteous await me until you will deal bountifully with me. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you. I have not borne the fruits of repentance. I have neither a fountain of tears nor sincere contrition. I have not sought the purification of bitter weeping. I have not gained humility of heart. I have not emulated the public and the harlot or the prodigal son. How shall I obtain remission of my many sins? For the sake of your great mercy, save me, O Christ. For your name's sake, I wait for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. I have made myself a stranger to every divine commandment. I have completely neglected the higher virtues. I have spent my whole life in laziness. The chief desires of my heart are for vanities. How shall I find release from the slavery of passing follies? For the sake of your great mercy, have pity on me and save me, O Christ. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope of the Lord. O Lord, in your great mercy, rebuke me not in anger, for I am the work of your hands. Senselessly have I torn myself away from you. But in the depth of your compassion, O lover of man, restore in me the fullness of your image and likeness. In the third tone, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. The grace of the Holy Spirit dwelt within you, O prophet of God, making you a radiantly shining beacon with its light. Through you he preached to Nineveh the great things that were to come. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all peoples. You were revealed to be a light-bearing cloud, O Nahum, let fall, letting fall a shower of divine knowledge. O prophet of God, you gave the city of Nineveh the judgment of God to drink, for it was sick with impiety. For his mercy is confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. You were a partaker of incorruptible glory and ineffable renown, unutterable joy and divine sweetness. O divinely inspired Nahum, prophet of God, pray for us to the Master of all. In the eighth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All our trust is in you, O Theotokos. Protect us beneath your veil. Deliver us from all evil afflictions. Intercede for us before your Son and our God that he may save and have mercy on us. O gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun, 
And behold the light of evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all times to worship you with voices of praise, O Son of God, and giver of life. Therefore, all the world glorifies you. Wisdom, let us attend the evening prokimenon is in the fourth tone. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. Answer me when I call to you, O my righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. How long, O men, will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love delusions and seek false gods? Know that the Lord has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call to him. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. In your anger do not sin. When you are on your bed, search your hearts and be silent. Offer right sacrifices and trust in the Lord. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. I will lie down and sleep in peace for you alone, O Lord. Make me dwell in safety. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. God save, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Despise not the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy, that the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord, Grant it, O Lord, all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord. A Christian ending to our life, aimless, blameless, and peaceful, and for a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God, to you, O Lord. For you are a good God who loves mankind, and to you we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all, and to your Spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord, to you. O Lord our God, who above the heavens,
Vincent came down for the salvation of mankind. Look upon your servants and your inheritance, for to you the awesome judge, he that loves mankind, have your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but asking your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil fantasies. For blessed and glorified is the majesty of your kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the eighth tone, the angels sing praises to you ceaselessly, O King and Master. The angels sing praises to you ceaselessly, O King and Master. While I fall before you, crying out like the publican, Be merciful to me, O Lord, and save me. To you I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of a servant look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God till he have mercy on us. Since you are created in God's image, O my soul, do not be deceived by this passing life, but come to your senses crying out to the lover of man. Be merciful to me, O Lord, and save me. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for we have had more than enough of contempt. Too long our soul has been sated with the scorn of those who are at ease, the contempt of the proud. O martyrs of the Lord, we entreat you to beseech our God, asking great mercy for our souls and forgiveness of our many sins. In the same tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice, O pride of the universe. Rejoice, O temple of the Lord. Rejoice, O mountain overshadowed by the glory of God. Rejoice, O refuge of all men. Rejoice, O golden candlestick, rejoice, O precious glory of the orthodox, rejoice, O Mary, Mother of Christ our God, rejoice, O tabernacle and paradise, rejoice, O table of divinity, rejoice, O golden vessel, Rejoice, O you who are the hope of all. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O prophet Nahum, you shone forth in the law, and proclaimed the consolation of grace from of old in the Spirit. Even so, by appearing to men, God the Word, glad in mortal nature, intercede with the compassionate Trinity to grant us great mercy. Glory to the 
Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, from the wealth of your faith in God, you distributed your riches to the poor of Philaret. Your life was adorned with compassion, and you glorified the giver of mercy. Implore him to have compassion and mercy on those who praise you. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, our power and refuge, the mighty help of the world, by your prayer shelter your servants from all calamity. For you alone are blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed metropolitan Tecon, welcome tenants of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever memorable founders of our Holy House, for all of our parents and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, especially the Archbishop David and Louise. And you hear, and in all the world by asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, those that we hold in our hearts and in our minds, all those suffering for their Orthodox faith, all those lying on a bed of sickness in need of healing, especially the binded Archpriest Michael, Matushkin, Natasha, Anastasia, McQueen, and Cynthia Elizabeth, the servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Roseanne, Elaine, Catherine, Delia, Maria, Joseph, Kara, Louise, Lucy, David, Anna, Carol, Dorothy, Anne Marie, Olga, Nona, Victoria, Mary, Holly, Juliana, for those suffering from the coronavirus, Bishop Sava, Viva, Madalena, Luca, Lynn, Dorothy, and her family, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God, in his mercy and providential care for us, will call forth for our Diocese of New England, a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an archpastor to care for the well-being of our diocese, and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith, in loving service to one another, and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in our holy and all venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we send a glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God, Almighty Lord of heaven and earth, and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness, you hear our cry in repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, all of our caregivers, the chaplains ministering to them. We pray for those developing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace. 
that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, Father blessed, Christ our God, the existing one, is blessed always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians, unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos save us, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify you. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, and our sure hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, to the prayers of his most pure mother, of the holy, glorious, honorable prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of our holy, glorious, and laudable apostles, the holy prophet Nahum, the righteous Philaret, the merciful of Amnia and Asia Minor, who we commemorate today, of the holy and righteous ancestor of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. So we hope that everyone had a uh, as meaningful a Thanksgiving celebration as is possible in this time of the corona pandemic uh, picking up once again, and that we now come back to our uh, season of preparation, the nativity fast, or praying, fasting, and almsgiving. Plus, uh, during this season of preparation, we uh, remember a lot of the prophets uh, that were sent by God to speak a word to God's people. So it can be a good spiritual exercise to simply acquaint ourselves a little bit with some of the writings of the prophets that we commemorate during this holy season, who were all part of that preparatory generation to prepare uh, mankind to receive the incarnation of Jesus Christ through the Most Holy Theotokos. God bless and keep you. We will be celebrating uh, our virtual Vespers again tomorrow evening, Tuesday uh, at 5.30, so please join us. Uh, we are being asked to limit our services at church to the celebration of the Eucharist really at this point uh, in our local area. So uh, we'll be celebrating Vespers tomorrow night. God bless and be with you.